What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Volts Count Some More. I'm Alex. Yesterday we had was uh, May the fourth, and May the fourth be with you. And today is Revenge of the fifth, May fifth. So I know there's been a lot of stuff going on uh, lately between Ant Man trailer and uh, stuff that we found out. Um, fan theories being correct about uh, different things that have happened in Infinity War and uh, of course yesterday being May the 4th and today being free comic book day so there's quite a few things uh, going on I'm going to be making pretty much a bunch of different videos today uh, which I'll be posting all today this morning I'm going to be posting this video and then I'm going to be posting another video uh, later on about Infinity War, and then tonight I'll be posting a uh, third and final video for today uh, for Free Comic Book Day. So, it can be kind of one after the other probably as far as uh, downloading and all that goes. So, we'll see how that works out. Um, so basically, what I wanted to do in this video is kind of talk a little bit about Star Wars, uh, doing that. Yesterday was Star Wars Day, and today is kind of like the aftermath of Star Wars Day. And um, then my second video, I'll talk about Infinity War and so on. So, 1977, Star Wars started. Um, May the 4th is just kind of created just because May the 4th be with you. It sounds like May the 4th be with you. Uh, let me know. I mean, if you guys if you guys enjoy Star Wars, there's really not a whole lot to talk about that hasn't already been discussed, um, except for like different uh, Star Wars comics and stuff like that. So let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm actually just going to kind of take a poll and see like what are your guys' thoughts on the Star Wars comics compared to the movies, um, and is there any Star Wars comic that you want me to? Uh, do you want me to review and do a video on? Uh, I know that uh, just recently I was reading uh, a little bit about uh, Darth Vader comics and how he had to, um, his uh, kyber crystal was formed in a different way than what normal uh, Jedi's would have been. Um, so basically like his crystal or Anakin Skywalker's uh, crystal, uh, stay blue. He didn't actually find a red crystal. Um, what he ended up having to do, as explained in the comics, in the Darth Vader comics, was he had to go kill a Jedi and take his, uh, lightsaber and, uh, do some kind of ritual or something, something with it. Um, but basically, the general point is, is that he had to make that crystal bleed and it had to be from a um, another Jedi and he went out to seek a really really strong Jedi for uh, this task and ended up finding him ended up killing him and ended up um, getting the uh, kyber crystal and then changing it red by basically making it bleed to so to speak so that's how Vader got his crystal um, so if you want me to do different reviews on, uh, books like that, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Um, also, uh, what is your, let me know in the comments below what your guys' favorite part in, uh, the Star Wars history has been. Whether it's, uh, original trilogy, or the newer trilogy, or the, uh, prequels, let me know what your guys' is. uh, favorite Star Wars moment has been and um, also let me get, let me know what you guys think about the new Han Solo movie coming out um, I personally think that I mean I think it's gonna be pretty good I, I think that a lot of things that uh, they're doing right now trying to explain everybody's backstory and all that I honestly think that they're better off by sticking with the animated series like uh, Rebels or Clone Wars or stuff like that 
and doing a movie based off that kind of feel because that way they can still use um, the same character. Like, they can make the characters look like their, uh, like their actual selves. But, I, at the same time, I don't think that the, uh, the actors and everything, they got to play younger Han Solo, Chewbacca, Lando, all of them. I don't think that they're going to be bad. Um, I think it's going to be pretty interesting. I like what they've done so far with, uh, the movies like Rogue One and, uh, stuff like that. So, we'll see how it turns out. Um... But yeah, like I said, let me know in the comments below what your guys' favorite Star Wars moment is and uh, what comic that you want me to, uh, you'd like me to review in the future. And uh, definitely whoever um, comment I end up picking out, definitely give you a shout out and all that good stuff. So, yeah. Like I said, now really a whole lot to talk about as far as Star Wars goes, um, but if you guys haven't ever actually, uh, seen Star Wars, uh, it's basically about, it basically focuses on the entire Skywalker family, um, except for, like, the newer ones, but I'm just kind of talking about the original trilogy here, 4, 5, and 6, A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. Which was actually originally supposed to be Revenge of the Jedi, but since Jedi's don't have revenge, it just didn't really work out. And uh, the A New Hope, Star Wars Episode Four, was actually called uh, Blue Harvest, but that was just a uh, like a teaser uh, for it was like a code name for Star Wars A New Hope, which actually, if you uh, watched the Family Guy uh, version of it. Uh, of Star Wars, which is kind of like a parody of it, but they call um, episode four uh, Blue Harvest. So it's kind of a little nod to the original title for it, um, which is really cool. But um, but yeah, it basically focuses around the Skywalker family. Uh, you get into episode four where they focus on Luke and his journey that he takes with Obi-Wan. You learn a little bit about the Clone Wars. Um, they, they are kind of mentioned. You just know that Obi-Wan fought in the Clone Wars along with Luke's father, who you don't know who that is yet. And then uh, they um, basically tangled up with the Imperial forces. Uh, Luke is forced to go with Obi-Wan, rescue the Princess Leia, and um, finds Han and Chewbacca. Uh, takes the droids that he bought before and goes off and then they find the princess save the princess uh destroy the death star and then get into episode five where they're on this ice planet hot uh the empire has found that's the rebel secret base empire found that secret base empire destroyed that secret base uh, Rebel, Rebels were forced to flee. Uh, Luke Skywalker ended up taking a different route. Went to um, Dagobah. Found Yoda. Started his Jedi training. Since that his friends were in danger. Left Yoda despite his warnings. And uh, went to Cloud City where everyone had been captured by Han's old friend Lando Calrissian. Um, who made a deal with the Empire. And then, uh, found out that that deal had been altered, and that he should pray that they do not alter it any further. Uh, after that, uh, Han was encased in carbonite and survived, but it was used for a training exercise to encase Luke in carbonite, um, which Vader knew that Luke would show up. So they have their whole fight scene. Uh, Lando is helping Leia, C-3PO, R2-D2, uh, and Chewbacca all escape. And um, Boba Fett is carrying out uh, Han Solo into his slave one ship. And the uh, fight between Luke and 
Vader starting to wrap up. Luke loses a hand. And um, then after that, uh, Vader pretty much reveals to him that he's his father, that Vader is Luke's father. And uh, Luke falls down his shaft. And basically he's hanging at the bottom of Cloud City, a city in the clouds, so just kind of hanging there. And uh, calls out to Leia and the for using the Force. And they turn the Millennium Falcon around. Lando's helping him. They catch Luke. Then, he, and then they meet up with the rest of the Rebel fleet. Luke uh, gets a new robotic hand. And... Then you move on to episode six. Episode six is all about getting Han Solo back, uh, who has been transferred over to Jabba the Hutt on Tatooine. Um, so everybody gets themselves captured just so that they can uh, free Han and uh, find out that Luke got a new lightsaber screen now. And you also find out uh, that... Um, Han Solo, that's, that's when you actually find out that Han Solo survived, uh, being encased in carbonite. Well, they, they mentioned that he survived in episode five, but he gets, uh, freed in episode, in episode six and, uh, has some side effects with that, but he ends up surviving, uh, ends up getting over the side effects, um, they end up having a huge fight scene. Jabba dies. Everybody escapes. Boba Fett was, uh, had fallen into the, uh, Sarlacc pit. And, uh, Luke kills a Rancor. So that basically sums up the first part of episode six. After that, um, they end up, uh, Luke ends up meeting with Yoda. They kind of tie, they tie up the story with Yoda, uh, fairly quickly. Um, after that, after that, after that, go to, uh, Endor to the Ewok village, um, because the uh, second Death Star is, uh, being built over Endor and, um, they take a whole rebel fleet to destroy the second Death Star. Turns out it's a trap, as said by Admiral Akbar. And they try turning around. Doesn't really work out so well. Uh, Luke gets himself captured by Vader. Luke, Vader, or Luke gets into a fight with Vader on the Death Star, second Death Star, um, in front of the Emperor. Um, a bunch of Ewoks try to basically cook and eat everyone until they find out that, hey, C-3PO looks like a god. And Luke uses his Jedi mind powers to, uh, or Jedi telekinesis to uh, lift C-3PO up in the air. And uh, 3PO tells all the Ewoks to let them all free so they all get free. They don't get eaten by a bunch of little bear eaters or human bear eaters. Anyway, he walks and uh they end up uh fighting alongside the rebels. The Ewoks do the Ewoks end up fighting alongside the rebels and then um basically the Empire got destroyed by a bunch of Ewoks is pretty much the uh point there. But uh, Vader turns good and then dies. Um, they have a ceremony for him um, on Indoor at the Ewok Village, end up burning his body um, and stuff like that. So, and that was pretty much the end. The Emperor gets destroyed, Vader ends up killing the Emperor, stuff like that. Second Death Star gets blown up. The Ewoks pretty much took care of the rest of the Imperial forces and uh, kind of made their helmets into like 
drums and And the the Ewoks are really uh, crafty. I don't want to say people, animals, I guess, but uh, they uh, use their. If you if you guys are wondering how a bunch of Ewoks, little bears, could destroy the empire, um, they use their. Uh, they they just get really creative with uh, different. Slingshots, I mean, they're a really good shot. They have spears, they have uh, huge giant logs that when uh, a vine is tripped, uh, these logs will come down and smash the Imperials in the head, or in this case, the uh, ATST's head, which is which was also called a chicken walker. Um, but, yeah. So that's basically the OG story of Star Wars. And um, everything tends to revolve around that story. Uh, you get into um, other stories like the Old Republic. Um, but even the Old Republic is actually still mentioned in uh, like the uh, prequel trilogy, I believe. And um, so it's, it's, everything's always been mentioned. Um, it's just a matter of if they're going to do, like, they've been talking about doing a live action, uh, version of The Old Republic. If you, if you guys haven't actually, uh, read any of The Old Republic books, I'm not talking about comic books, I'm actually talking about, um, regular book books. Um, I definitely highly recommend it. They have one for, uh, Re Revan, um, they have one for, uh, Darth Magus, stuff like that, so... I definitely suggest um, reading those. Those are really good books. Um, and stuff. So, anyway, I'm going to wrap this up now. Um, again, everybody, I hope you had a happy Star Wars Day. Um, May the 4th be with you all. And don't forget that today is Revenge of the Fifth. Sith. Fifth. Fifth Sith. See you next time.